Hi friends. Let's start today out with a song. Ready? Get your hands ready. Have you ever seen a caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar? Have you ever seen a caterpillar eat this leaf or that? This leaf or that leaf or this leaf or that leaf? Have you ever seen a caterpillar eat this leaf or that? Have you ever seen a butterfly, a butterfly, a butterfly? Have you ever seen a butterfly fly this way or that, this way or that way or this way or that way? Have you ever seen a butterfly fly this way or that? Yay! Thank you for singing with me, guys. I have a book to share with you today for spring called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So let's get started. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. On Saturday, he ate through, you ready for this? One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, a lollipop, and one cherry pie. He also had one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. My, oh my, was he hungry. Look at all that food. The next day was Sunday. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt so much better. Let's see how many bites he took. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, he wasn't very hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole out of the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was no longer a caterpillar. He was a beautiful butterfly. So in a few minutes, we're going to take a walk to Miss Amber's Butterfly Garden and we're going to look at some of the plants, the flowers that um, the butterflies visit and like to eat on. Um, we're also going to see if we can find some caterpillar friends. So let's go find out. Be right Welcome back. back guys. This is my butterfly garden. Um, I'm going to show you some plants that butterflies love to drink nectar from. They have flowers. Um, so the first one is called a penta. They come in many different colors. I have some pink in my garden this year. And then another type of plant that butterflies love to drink nectar from is called dianthus. I have some pink in my garden and some red. And then one last flower I have that the butterflies love is called a a zinnia but I saved my favorite for last it's called a milkweed these are native to Louisiana 
and monarch butterflies come visit them every spring to lay their eggs. And let's go on a caterpillar hunt, guys. I think I see something. Oh, I think I see something. Let's go find it. You are in for a treat. So it doesn't look like much, but this is actually a milkweed um, growing back. And if you look real close, there are three baby caterpillars. One. Two. And three. Hey my friends, so that basically wraps up our video about our butterflies and our butterfly garden. Um, you may not have butterfly plants at home, but you can still help the butterflies to live and to thrive. If you feel like feeding them, you can put out a paper plate in your yard with some mandarin oranges. They seem to love drinking the juice from oranges. So I hope you enjoyed your video. I miss you guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.